My lab develops new technologies uh, for genomics, and in particular for spatial genomics, uh, which is to say we want to know where the biomolecules are inside of complex tissues and how that makes tissues what they are, how they form cells and the interactions between cells. For a long time, we've been very good at like dissociating cells from tissues and looking them at them like as a unit of a cell. We don't really understand what's happening with those cells without knowing what the, who their neighbors are and who they're talking to. And so we're, what we're really trying to do is develop tools that enable us to look at like the tissue as a whole versus like constantly breaking it down into its parts and studying it. When I went to go to Caltech, uh, which is where I did my undergrad, I was like dead set against studying biology, actually. Uh, I actually ended up studying electrical engineering. The thing I really liked about it is that like the engineering principles are all there. Like you can go and simulate something and then build it and it will work as you simulated it. Biology is like never like that. What turned me off from biology in the beginning was how hard it was, right? But then as I went through college and worked on a lot of different research projects, what actually drew me back to biology was how hard it was and how little of it we understood. Here now we're like just like discovering how to like interpret like the rules of the genome, how to engineer cells. And so that's why it, it drew me back. I think that I was very drawn to like uh, the ability to like apply my tools and interact with like biologists who would actually be able to use them and also like have them, there's this back and forth about like you know, what sorts of questions are really driving the development of the tools. And that's like something that you can uniquely get here at the Broad.